Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from VizU. This is their model number VZ-3PT2 Solar Battery Wireless Security Camera. Now this is a 355 degree pan and 90 degree tilt camera. Can be uh, either plugged in to a power source, or you can use the optional uh, solar panel for pretty much endless power. We're going to dig into this now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that comes in the box with the VizU uh, solar uh, powered camera here. Uh, you can see there's a quick start guide for your solar charger. You also get a sticker that you can put up uh, to tell everyone that you are uh, using 24 hour surveillance. And then we get a uh, quick start guide for the camera itself. Uh, and it, this is written in English. It's well laid out. Uh, overall, no problems reading through this. You can get the uh, app Cloud Edge either for iOS or for Android. Uh, and it will also go in to explain how to mount the camera, how to mount your solar panel, and how to connect uh, the app to the camera, which I am going to show you today as well. Uh, so there's a lot of good information in here. Hold on to this just in case you need it. Now we do get uh, several different mounting options here uh, because we basically have two units. This square one is gonna be for the camera itself and this cone-shaped one is going to be for the solar panel uh, to use uh, to uh, recharge or keep the battery charged inside the unit. Uh, so you've got uh, a uh, adjustable angle on this to get the correct angle for the most solar exposure during the day uh, so you don't run out of battery overnight. Uh, so to top this off, we've got a nice solar panel here uh, and you do have a nine foot cord uh, that goes to the back. You can see that there is a little spot on the back for your mounting. Uh, which is very nice to have. Again, this way you'll really never have to take the camera down to recharge it. Uh, you do have a weatherproofed connection that is USB type C here. Uh, it's got a uh, weatherproofed connection in there for outdoor use in all conditions such as rain or snow or anything else. So it's really nice that you do have this included. Now we do have a few other little guide points here. These are guide stickers for uh, the mounting holes for both of the mounts. Uh, and you do get the hardware for it as well uh, to be able to mount this either to wood or sheetrock, depending on where you're going to mount the camera. And of course, if you're going to be using the solar panel as well. Now you do have a built-in battery on this uh, that you can use uh, to charge this or you can actually uh, have this charged uh, via USB Type-C. And again, we've got a weatherproofed section here uh, that will plug in as well. Now this camera features a two-way audio, night vision, built-in floodlights, a motion sensor, a 2K HD resolution, local recording via micro SD card, uh, it does have pan, tilt, and zoom. Uh, you can pan this up to uh, 355 degrees and tilt up to 90 degrees. So you have a wide uh, section of coverage uh, to pretty much get every angle that you can think of. You can see uh, no problems here with this on the top. You're going to see that there is a little section that we can remove here. Uh, again, weatherproofed. And you can see that there's going to be a power button, a reset button, and also a micro SD card slot for local storage uh, as well. Now we do have two antennas on this unit, and these antennas are 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi compatible antennas. Uh, so you will have to connect them to your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Uh, then you have a built-in battery in the neck here, and we also have that slot there for your mount on the back. Uh, so you'll be able to mount this on the back. 
do have a speaker and microphone for two-way audio communication as well as that weatherproofed uh, USB Type-C. Again, you can hardwire this via the USB cable or you can actually uh, hook up the solar panel as well to get constant recharge on that built-in battery. So that's the unboxing of the Vizu outdoor solar camera. We're going to hook it on up and see how it performs. Okay, to set this up, I've got it plugged in via USB Type-C at the moment. Again, you can run it off battery, but for this, I just want to make sure uh, that I've got constant power to the battery. You can see that once it's powered on, uh, you're going to get an active state LED light on the left, and on the right, we've got a blinking uh, red light, which means we're ready to pair up with the Cloud Edge app. Now, you can get this uh, app for Android and for iOS. I have it for Android here so let's uh, take a look at the cloud edge app now once you open this up you've got a spot in the middle to add a device or you have a plus symbol at the upper right to add a device as well so we're going to do that let's add a device it's going to ask me for permissions for nearby devices we're going to grant those and of course while using the app you grant all of your permissions. Now you can see on the left hand side here, we've got a bunch of different things that the Cloud Edge app supports, but what we're looking for is battery camera, uh, and that is what we're going to select here. So we're gonna select battery camera. It's gonna ask me to uh, turn the device on. I have already done that, but it is under the flap at the top where you can hold it down to turn the power on. Now it's going to ask you to reset the button until you get a blinking red light. We've already got one, so I don't need to hold down that reset button that is there. I'm going to click next. Now it's going to ask me for my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and password. And this is where I will enter that information. And once we enter that information, uh, once we hit next here, it's going to put a big QR code with that information up on my screen of my phone. And then we scan it with the actual camera. So let me do that. I'll hit next. It'll bring up that QR code. And we'll just bring that in so that the camera can read that information. Uh, once it does, uh, we'll go to the next screen. And now what it's doing is it's taking the information from my Wi-Fi and password and uploading that to the camera you can see I have a solid blue light now and I am registered and on the network so we are now successfully connected I'm going to click next you can change the name of your device here at this point I'm just going to leave it a number and then I'm going to click done because it's already in my family that I have set up and then it's going to ask you uh, to go through the installation guide if you want to. You do not have to if you don't want to, but we're going to click through here and go through. It's going to say put the phone and, uh, and the camera at the, the place of installation to run a network diagnostic. We're going to do that. And it's going to run this diagnostic real quickly. And you can see there I am. So now we are all set up and ready to go. Okay, you can see here we're at the main uh, uh, screen of the app, and you can see we can change our quality here from uh, uh, SD to QHD or auto. We've got screenshots. We can take screenshots of our screen. It will save it to the device here. We can hold to talk. Uh, so we have two-way audio communication. And we can also record video as well, which I'll do here, and I'll also put a sample of that up on the screen. So uh, what you can see is on screen, uh, the uh, sample video that I took as well, uh, you can see that I can use my uh, finger uh, on the screen directly to uh, pan and tilt. Uh, so you can do it right on the screen, but we also have a dedicated PTZ button at the bottom here next to motion detection. So we want to take a look at motion detection first. Uh, you can have this on or off. There are several different custom modes power saving mode, sensitivity, recording time, uh, and you can set up alert plans as well with this. Now, of course, we have that PTZ button here, and we can use this uh, to move the camera around if you don't want to swipe across the screen.
You also have a light button there at the bottom right for the floodlights. You can turn those on and off manually if you would like. You have a siren button here, an audio warning and strobe light. Uh, you can set your full color night vision using the uh, built-in uh, lights or just black and white or auto will auto detect. You have your album here for all of your screenshots and videos that you manually take as well. Now in the settings of the app, you can uh, adjust things like uh, alert notifications, image settings, sharing the device, sound settings, time settings, uh, battery management, recording management, cloud storage, uh, and of course link with Alexa or with Google Home. You can check for a new version or you can delete the device or reset the device as well. Now in landscape, we can do all of the same functions here. You've got buttons down at the bottom. You can pinch to zoom, uh, swipe light, left or right to pan, uh, and up and down to tilt. You can take screenshots, video. You can speak to the camera, hear the camera's audio. You can bring up that uh, pan and tilt uh, control on screen. And of course, you can change your quality of the stream as well, all in full screen. As far as night vision works, it automatically will switch over for you. You can use this for color night vision with the uh, floodlights, uh, but by default, it will try to choose the best one. And at this point, it's using the IR LEDs, and you get a nice, crisp, clean picture in night mode as well. So everything works as expected and has a very nice image for surveillance. So there you go, that's my review of the Viziu Solar Battery Wireless Security Camera, model number VZ-3PT2. Uh, this is great, it's got good coverage, 355 degrees pan, 90 degrees tilt, with an option to use a solar panel, a nice rock solid app, and a good image quality. If you're looking for an outdoor security camera, you might want to check this one out. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.